Well, too much sugar could be making us sick. That is why the federal government is urging Americans to cut our sugar consumption way back. We're learning about that in tonight's Caring for Our Kids. WATE 6 on your side anchor, Lori Tucker, is in the studio now with some of those answers. Hey, Lori. Yeah, you guys might be surprised out there. New federal dietary guidelines are out, updated and revised every five years. It is the government's official advice on what to eat, or in this case, not to eat. Joining us now with more from Children's Hospital is clinical nutritionist Janet Buck. Thank you so much for being here. You're welcome. You brought some great examples we're going to talk about in just a moment. But first, I need to ask you, what's the harm in too much sugar? What can it do? Well, first of all, when we overeat on sugar, we tend to be overeating on calories. Mm -hmm. And regardless of where those calories are coming from, when we overeat, we tend to gain weight. As we gain weight, we increase our risk of developing chronic diseases, such as diabetes and heart disease and high blood pressure. And unfortunately, those diseases can can begin early in childhood. And you, you want to get your kids off on the right foot for sure. Tell us about this new recommendation and explain how this compares to what we normally eat. Correct. Uh, the new dietary guidelines are putting a stronger focus on cutting back on sugar. Mm -hmm. uh, the previous dietary guidelines were more focused on fat. And actually, Americans have done a pretty good job of cutting down on their fat intake, but we haven't really been losing weight. Americans still tend to have a weight problem. Right. It still kind of sticks. Mm -hmm. And is sugar the culprit here? Well, they sugar think. is definitely one of the culprits. Yeah. And so, what they've identified is that as we cut down on our fat intake, a lot of times we tend to eat more sugar. And mm -hmm. so they're asking us to cut our sugar consumption by about 50%. The average American adult consumes about 22 teaspoons of sugar per day. And they're now recommending that we cut that down to about 12 teaspoons of sugar per day. And Let's hold this up. Okay. This is 12 teaspoons of sugar. Can you see that, added everybody? Added sugar. Added sugar. <laughs> yeah, we need to explain that. It's added sugar stuff yes. in processed foods. Correct. Desserts, cookies, yeah. stuff like that. Why don't we go through this okay. and uh, the go slow and whoa right. technique. Those are yes. things that are really good for you to remember. First of all, these are little Teddy Grahams, yes. right? Okay, mm -hmm. they contain one teaspoon of added sugar for Correct. this small amount. Yes, that's this one serving. This is a go. That's one serving. Yes, because that's approximately five grams of sugar. And something that has about five grams of sugar is going to be approximately one teaspoon, and that's mm -hmm. really a very small amount. So that's a food that you would want to eat on a fairly regular basis. Okay, but again, only it looks like about a third of a cup. Uh, that's correct. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. And then we have... Uh, you know, our neutral grain bar or something similar <laughs> something to that. Something breakfast bar. Uh, three teaspoons of added sugar in yes. this one. Yes, this has about 10 to 12 grams of sugar mm -hmm. per serving. And so that's, we're going to call that a slow food, which means we're going to pay more attention to the serving size. And this would be a food that we might have every now and then, but maybe not every day. All right, that cookie looks really good, the one yes, right in front of you. This is a <laughs> wonderful chocolate chip cookie. This chocolate chip cookie actually contains about five teaspoons of sugar. So that's a whoa food. We're going to yeah. slow down on that. Because because it contains more than 15 grams of added sugar per serving. And any time you go over 15 grams of added sugar, the teaspoons start to really add mm -hmm. up, and that can really contribute to weight gain or just excess sugar. So again, you've, you've given us these numbers. Remind parents how many teaspoons of sugar their kids should, added sugar, their, yes, their added kids sugar. should have per day. Okay, so for a child in the like one to three year old range, mm -hmm. we're looking at about six teaspoons, oh, so about 50% of an adult, so mm -hmm. about six teaspoons a day. For our middle school age kids, maybe eight, nine, ten years old, about nine teaspoons of sugar per day. And then once you get into the teenage years and the adolescent years, it's going to vary depending on the child's calorie needs. Mm -hmm. But for someone that's consuming about 2,000 calories a day, which is average for an adult, about 12 teaspoons of sugar per day. All right, we've got to go, but let's end on this. This is a cola, regular yes. cola. How much added sugar is in this? 10 teaspoons of sugar. Wow. It's almost so everything you need for a day. A soda and a cookie, you've reached your limit for the You're day. You're done. Have an orange instead. Yes, exactly. Right. No added sugars there. Thank you so much for being with us. Great You're advice welcome. there. And a reminder, if you have a question about your child's health, you can email me at ltucker at wate.com. And be sure to tune in every Thursday here on WATE 6 on your side news at 530. We may use your question on the air, guys.